Hi, welcome to my real soda can mock-up. What makes this mock-up different? It combines real photography with Photoshop 3D. Unlike other mock-ups, this uses a real 3D object. It's the same as a smart object, but it distorts things properly along the shape of the can. Okay, let's jump right in. Here you'll see a folder called Instagram effects. We'll come back to that later. Can 4 and background color ideas, which is also a smart object. Inside the CAM4 folder, you'll see two other folders. The shadow, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can switch it off and on. It's all on transparency. You can change the opacity up here. And then the CAM4. Each of the CAM has a bunch of scary layers like this. They're not really scary. I'll go over them in a second. But let's take a look at the 3D layer. If I double click on this layer, which is the 3D layer, a new panel should pop up. If it doesn't pop up, you can go to Window, 3D. Okay, so we've got the Soda Can 4 here. We have all these other objects, which we don't need to bother with at the moment. And if you select the Move tool, suddenly you'll be drawn into the Photoshop 3D environment. For the moment, we just want to edit the texture that's applied onto the can. Under Textures, you'll see this diffused map, Soda Can Label 04. By double clicking on the soda can label, it opens the smart object. Within this are two other layers, an instruction layer and a safe area layer. The safe area layer just shows you what clipping will occur top and bottom to your texture. So unfortunately you will lose a little, tiny little bit at the top and a tiny little bit at the bottom. As long as you keep your artwork within this safe area, nothing will get cropped off. And this is the texture. So all you need to do is place your own artwork in here, save it, and the file will be updated. I'm not gonna add in any new artwork. I'm just gonna invert this one so it looks different. Then save it and close. As you can see, the new uh, texture has been applied to the can. So if I click away from that, we're now out of the 3D environment and back to the 2D environment. So let's just go over that again. So you just look for the 3D object, which is here. It's got this little 3D cube on it. Go to the textures, diffuse, soda can texture, double click. Texture opens up. Again, I'm going to invert this. So I'll go back to my original design, save, close, and click out of the 3D environment. Easy. Now the beauty of having it as 3D, if I go back to the 3D, is we can rotate the can. So if I rotate it along the Z axis, you can start to see the back of the can. So that's the back of the can, and that's the front of the can. Now, you can't mess with these other views because they'll just mess everything up. I'll show you. See how that's messed up? Remember, the can is a real photograph. It's only the label that's 3D. We're blending the two together. Okay, let's come out of that 3D view. Now you're probably wondering what all these other layers are. So again, let's switch them all off and switch them on in turn. This is a shadow layer, another shadow layer, a highlight layer, and another highlight layer. This final layer on top is a color layer that's intended to help blend the can in with its background. The trick with this is to only have it on a, a tiny amount. Depending on the color of your artwork, whether it's a very light texture or dark texture, you'll need to play around with these layers to achieve the look you're after. So for instance, at the moment, I'm currently on quite a light layer and it looks, you know, the highlight looks good. Maybe that's a little bit strong. Turn it down. But if you're using a dark texture for your label, then you might need to tweak these. Let's try that now by rotating the can. Click the can. Let's rotate it around to the dark portion of the design. Come back to these. Now you can see that the highlight layers are much more pronounced. So let's just take a look at those and maybe knock them down ever so slightly. In particular, this catch light is maybe a little bit strong. Maybe you don't need as much dark shadows. I'm going to bump them up. Actually, I quite like it like that. And again, this is 
that blue background, the blue background from the smart object. And that's it. That's basically how to use it. The other features of the can are the background is a smart object. So I've got a bunch of predefined colors in here, which you can just save and close. And you see that's updated, but only that it's updated the catch highlight color up here, which now looks a little bit too harsh. So I'm going to turn that down. The other thing that's in the pack are a bunch of Instagram effects. So if I switch that on, you can see them all here. There's 25 in total. Feel free to play with them. They'll give you some really weird looking effects, but still quite cool. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to message me on my Creative Market shop.